Hello everyone, here, happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, and in today's video it is on Draco's Encounter with Buckbeak, and, as you saw by the thumbnail, uh, the Marauders map, of course, from 2004. Well, first of the Prisoner of Azkaban range, of course. So on the front of the, of the box here, which only have for Draco's Encounter with Buckbeak, of course, well, the Lego logo, and that also bland blue border that almost all the sets in that time once had, and this has updated version of Harry for this film, and it recommended ages 6 through 10, set number 4750 has 36 pieces. You see a picture of the, all everything that there is, and extends to the top part with actual size, and of course the pumpkin patch, of course. And you flip to the back of the box, then you see another, or a couple more views of the set, and the main feature of it, and also the clear view of the Marauders map, of course. And now onto the manual, of which, same picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back is out for the website, and the trio looking over the Marauders map, and then win on the online survey, and little alternate build of the set, and then add for all the 2004 Prisoner of Azkaban sets, of course, so expect reviews on those two, so expect reviews on those three, that, and that, and that for the next few Throwback Thursdays, of course. And then the main feature of it, and the last building steps. So first of all, for the mini figs included with each set, or both sets, So as here we have an updated version of Harry, but still having the, well, he and Draco Malfoy, still kind of the same, similar to the uh, Sorcerer's Stone and to Chamber of Secrets lines, of course, but Severus Snape, uh, which is kind of the same from those lines, but without the cape, of course. And as for Harry, which has bar classic bar piece with this run was for a feature of the Marauders map set, and and is of course holding the Marauders map, of course. And of course, this only time we've ever had the Marauders map piece, well, until the minifig pack in uh, last year in 2020, of course. And as with Draco Malfoy's case, uh, which also, and of course, this time is when they started doing a, a skin color minifig. Compared to yellow, of course, and that also happened with the 2005 Star Wars Episode Three wave, of course. And uh, anyways, back on with Draco is, as you see, holding the classic book piece, but in this case represented as the Monster Book of Monsters, of course, which we've never seen another version of either. Well, until the 2020 Minifig series, of course. And if we're on the back, then no back torso print, no and no back and no alternate faces since they're all older figures, of course. And next to which is the classic version of Buckbeak, and of course, kind of primitive for the times. Well, well, in this 2004 wave, the only other way to get him was in the uh, Serious Black's Escape set, of course. So, of course, this was the much cheaper alternative to get him. And, of course, we did get a version of him for LEGO Dimensions in a fun pack, of course. And never seen another version, well, till 2019, of course. So, that's only uh, three new pieces to him, like this new wing piece, which you can definitely still use in some mocks and things. 
but the uh, body piece of which is kind of similar to the classic horse mold and it also has forcing four studs on it so Harry can sit right on to it which he kind of did in the movie and also of course as for the front part with a quite good texture for the feathers and things and the face of which are quite well done with the kind of creepy looking eye there but at least they until they fixed that with the update version in 2019 with the with printed eyes of course so he which kind of a sign of the times where they uh, which had to sculpt things on instead of actual printing but at least it's fair I can forgive it how it is so for the main build or the rest of the main build for Draco's encounter with Buckbeak that you get see it's kind of simple as this uh, has a few simple inverted slopes and jagged slopes used for the tree and of course the common tree pieces and also owl piece and tan quite nice nice to use for your mocks and things and also do you get a few random light gray and dark gray pieces and a couple of jagged slopes as well but used for the or for a rock area although and also do you get me fig headpiece but in orange representing a pumpkin always being the pumpkin patch next to Hagrid's hut of course although you can kind of plop it next to that if you want and of course the main feature is if you like pull on this and it reveals uh, something inside it and as it's in there there's like old school feather piece and one by one plate or tile with a spider on it like in the uh, uh, what's it called a forbidden forest set from uh, 2002 of course Aragog's encounter set of course and also that uh, roll up piece that we've seen in the Star Wars Gungan sub line from 2000 of course so Good to see it reused here and of course with plenty of, of stud space on the green plate of which enough to display your Draco Malfoy mini fig on to of course also nice that you get one of the leaf pieces in a small cheap set so at least this did kind of work as a good parts pack of course and now on to the Marauders map set Oh, which, which is kind of a little basic, but works out well. Which, as you see, has the large uh, brick base piece, just like the uh, other sets from 2001 and 2 bolted. And, of course, have the column or rounded bricks and regular bricks there. And archways. Uh, it was underneath, of course, and... If, and of course from the back always faking the course and if you wonder what this technique bit is for which we'll get to in a minute and of course do have the like like uh, sand green jagged slopes like we've seen on some of the Hogwarts sets from earlier of course <coughs> and for and although there is one bit of asymmetricality is one side has the common leaf piece and one has a orange version of the old spider piece kind of odd how that is but whatever and also above is of what's not counted as a fig is this little sculpture that has but still does have some good prints on its torso piece and on its lower skirt dress piece and no back torso print obviously as he has some good builds going on with those odd-ish bricks and the like cylinders on them and a couple of the whole bricks there and now there is a feature with it if you got the wand that Harry was holding earlier you insert it into the pin and and that unlock well if you can get it in securely enough 
can raise it for that. And then you can push it back. Okay, and kind of a simple trap door feature. Oh, actually, also, if you like, and also it's where you hide this little piece, which was also used on the Green Gots Bank set, of course, so in a couple other sets. Uh, it's supposed to be a scroll with the cauldron things on it. And so now, if you're probably wondering, could it work out with the like earlier uh, Hogwarts sets? Of course, you can kind of do so if you want to. Well, like I often, like I once said, is your your decisions can kind of vary a little bit. Yeah. Anyways, back onto it is also do have some of those archway pieces, which also could work with the earlier Hogwarts corridor sets, of course, and also some whole lot of those like lined bricks, of course, and good use of the large long jacket slopes, of course. And uh, what else is there to say? Not much, but yeah. So now with on to the final verdict. So for my overall verdict is I think these of which are pretty good sets for the time, like do serve as good parts packs and also uh, keeping up the kind of tradition with the earlier Hogwarts sets, of course, well for the Mirage map set and and of course, Buckbeak, uh, uh, not so good for the time, but at least still well, well effective. Well, and also, and of course, having the spider piece in orange, quite good. And yeah, and although I think uh, Severus Snape also could have been updated with the uh, regular skin tone, but. Of course, didn't see that until the 2007 Hogwarts uh, Castle set, of course. But at least this, I can forgive the set how it is. And so now if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say go ahead and pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.